Hey everybody, this is Coffee Girl Gaming. I want to welcome you back to another adventure. Uh, I want to try and get a lot done today. We want to try and get Blathers. I think he's officially here on the island and we got to get those bell dollars to get our house. So come on in, join me in my game and on to the next adventure. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 12.23 p.m. this happy Monday, January 25th, 2021. Now for today's news. As of this very day, a brilliant fellow by the name of Blathers will be joining us on the cafe. Blathers has keen interest in biology, past and present, and he is here to study the cafe. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. That's all for me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. All right, let's see what we get to do. I want to stop by Blathers and um, I think we have to get him some bugs. So let's see what he wants us to do for him today. And I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And I want to try and get a lot more videos out to you. So just make sure you stop by and just click that little like button and you can click the notification button as well. Let's see. So get some sticks on the way because you know you always need sticks. Oh, and we have Nook Miles. Let's see what that's for. We're so close to getting a house. Okay, where are you, Nick Miles? There we are. Active island resident. Life on the island has lots of promise, hmm? To illustrate this, I'll award you some Nook Miles based on the number of active days you've spent here. Please take them and enjoy them. So this is day three, people, in case you didn't notice. Oh my gosh, we are 50 Nook Miles away. I think we can definitely get the house today. All right, let's go see what Blathers wants. Ho, oh, a pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I am exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Aha, could it be that you're Coffee Girl, the personage who chose the location for this tent? I am. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. Now, regarding the aforementioned research... Truth be told, I am determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. So should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave Tom Nook in the museum upon its completion. Though, I confess, there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. Empty display cases will not do. I'm told. Display cases with something to display? That is another matter. Which is where you come in. Whoop, whoop. Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too. Oh. As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with the fossils I require. But the river, you said. I can't just hop over it, you say. Oh, silly you. 
I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Pardon me, coffee girl, while I transmit the vital data to your Nook phone. We're going to get to go to the other part of the island. Yay! There you see, with good gathers from the cafe, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go. Hooty hoo. I sent DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well, which brings me to my point. Please, coffee girl, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I have blathered on far too long, but let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit, 15 more to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. All right, Blathers, the job will be done. Let's go gather some stuff for Blathers. Okay, I might want to see if I need to sell anything first because 15 items is a lot of things. So let's go see what we can do in here. Welcome, coffee girl. How can I help you today? I want to sell. Of course. What exactly are you offering? Hmm... I guess we can sell some peat or some cherries. I'm so used to having peaches at my old island. Look at all the fine things you brought in today. Allow me a moment to run the numbers. And done. I can buy these from you for a total of 1,610 bowels. Sound good? Sounds awesome. All right, perfect. <gasps> Are we going to get to buy our house? You'll get Nook Miles based on the amount of fruit you've sold. Remember, if you sell our island's spe specialty fruits on other islands, you might be able to get a better price. And we got 300 so we officially can pay off our loan to get a new home. So let's go talk to Tom Nook. Hey, Tom. Ah, coffee girl. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Oh, I think we need to go to the ATM, but let's see. Yes, yes. That is the question. Well, I, do, I don't mean to rush you, but there is a small matter of your move-in fees. Putting in some work to chip away at those is always time well spent, if you ask me. Of course, a good way to earn a lot of miles in a hurry is to collect lots of creatures and catch lots of fish. So go on, craft a net or fishing rod if you need one and get after them at your convenience naturally. What would you like for me to talk to me about? I'm all ears. My moving fees. Oh, you'd like to pay your moving fees? Very well, you owe 5,000 miles. I am ready to pay. Thank you so much. Indeed, that is 5,000 miles and not a mile less. With that, your moving fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for both of us. Yes, yes, you're free and clear of debt. Living on a thriving scenic island, what could be better? Oh, that wasn't actually a rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you? Um, it could definitely be better. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, but no one ever said that developing an island paradise would be easy. But we don't do things because they are easy. Hmm. We do them because they're profitable. Well, if you're growing weary of life in a tent, yes, yes, I suppose the time is right to discuss the possibility of building custom homes. Now, there are certain challenges to building fabulous homes in a remote location such as this. Challenges that do translate directly into cost, I'm afraid. Um, but with zero interest financing and extremely lax repayment plan, 
anything is possible. So coffee girl, if you never find, if you ever find yourself interested in a new home, do come see me. Oh, one more thing to share. We have a miles redemption service for the Nook miles you've collected. When you access a Nook stop, you'll be able to redeem your miles for lots of interesting things. You'll be sure to check it out sometime soon, hmm? Well then, I hope you continue to enjoy your getaway package life. What would you like to talk to me about today? I'm all ears. About my home. Oh, coffee girl. Have you made a decision about home ownership? Ready to move forward into comfort and luxury? As fun as living in a tent can be, a house gives you more space and helps you put down roots. Now, building the house means taking out a new loan in the amount of 98,000 bells. Whoa. So, what do you think? Ready to build your own home, sweet home? I am so ready. I was ready two days ago. Thank you for your business. I'll get construction started right away. By the way, you get to choose from eight different colors for the roof. Could you please select a color roof that is from the list? I want purple, 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 purple. Where are you? There you are. Okay, you'll have a purple roof. I'll get that order in for you. Yes, yes. Oh, one more thing. Homeowners get an automatic Nook mileage program upgrade. Just give me one moment, hmm? Yes, yes, there we go. I've updated your program membership details, Coffee Girl. Now, when you use your Nook Miles app, you'll have access to all the Nook Miles benefits. Nook Miles include a nifty way to earn additional miles for special circumstances. You'll see the details when you launch the app, so give, so please give it a look when you can. That's all for me. Your wonderful new home should be ready tomorrow. Quite exciting, yes? I am so excited, you have no idea. Okay, let's see what Nook Miles we have and then the Nook Mile Plus program. Nook Miles Plus makes it even easier to earn miles as you go about enjoying island life. There are also special redemption options that only Nook Miles Plus members get. Please take advantage of this amazing opportunity. Okay, before I go to the top, let's see, I think I have something down here to check out. Yes, we do. Thank you for paying all your fees for moving to the island. Take a Nook Miles rebate as a gift and give yourself a nice pat on the back. 500 Nook Miles, all right. Anything else? Would that be it? Okay, so let's go here and we're gonna take a picture of ourselves with them because it's going to give me some points. There we go. Got ourselves some easy nook miles right there. Okay, so we captured a memory and then we can earn bells by selling items, plant flower seeds, sell shells, plant trees or shrubs, and sell fruit. So, oh, and we just sold fruit, so we missed out on that one, but let's go see if we can build a pole and what we need to build a pole and a shovel. Well, we can build a shovel, so that's good. I made a flimsy shovel, all right. And we can build a pole, a vaulting pole. So awesome, we can do everything. Voila, I made a vaulting pole. I am done crafting for now. And what Nook Mouse did we earn now? DIY tools. If your tools break, whoops. 
got 300. Let me go back to that and I'll read it. If your tools break, just make more. And to take away the sting, you'll earn nook miles based on the number of tools you craft. So sweet deal. All right, let's get out of here. It's a nice snowy day on the island, overcast. Makes me really cold. Okay, it's been a while since I've had to hit a rock with a shovel. So hopefully I can do this good and no one's gonna laugh at me. No, I knew I was gonna mess up. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. We need lots of iron. Yay, we got all of them. Perfect. Okay. So let's go over here and see if we can get some fish and some bugs. I got him. I couldn't see him, but I got him. Okay. Yes. I caught a, cre a creation carp. My skills are sharp. Let's see if there's a pond fish. Every time I want to come to the pond to catch a fish, there's no fish here. And when I'm running by, there's a fish. That's how it works, right? Nope. Okay, fishy, come and get it. You know you want it. You can do it. And got him. Another carp. Okay. Thank you. And let's try and catch this one. Is it going to be another carp? Yep. Okay. Oh, and there it goes. Oh no, thank you for your service, faithful flimsy fishing rod. We will have to make another. Oh, and I got Nick Miles, so let's see what we got. Five hundred Nick Miles. All right. You hit a single rock eight times in a row and knock some things loose. But did you know that rock whacking is the activity that keeps on giving? Yes, yes, you're getting some nook mouse now. All right. There's my flowers I planted yesterday. Aren't they looking so cute? That's probably another carp. I don't want another carp. Oh, did you see what I just saw? Way anchor. Check its blood pressure. Who's your provider? Nine, nine. Murph. Blur. D do you have my pickled herring pizza? I already tipped online, so. Wait. I don't see a pizza. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, hang on. I know that one. I'm none Oliver than Gulliver, a seafaring seagull of the seven seas. Were you the one who kept nudging me just now? Thanks for the wake-up call. Those tasty hallucinations tend to sneak up on me. Can you find it in your heart to forgive this waterlogged bird brain? I'm, re I'm reading your vacant expression as a yes. Whew. Guess I dozed off and tumbled overboard again. 
that's an endearing character trait of mine. My crewmates love it when I slip over the bow. Ha! Huh. Don't worry, the fellows will the fellows will be here to rescue me in no time. Got an ace up my wing, you see? I'll just call for help using my handy dandy uh my uh Oh my gosh! My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Ah, sardines. It's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Hmm. That could take a while. I've only got enough nautical puns to last for a couple of hours. You. Yes, you. Will you help me find my communicator parts? I'll look for them. Oh, thank you, thank you. Your heart must be almost as big as your head. Gee, thanks. The communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. If you find them, I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I'd better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the searching to you. I believe in you, partner. I don't have much of a choice. Thanks, Gulliver. Pleasure to meet you. Let's see. Okay, Gulliver, you're in my way. No. There we go. We got the first one. Look what I dug up. A communicator part. Let's see. Where are you, communicator parts? Anybody see any squirts? Oh, I found a bottle. Let's see what it is. To the reader of this message, this is DIY recipe. This new DIY recipe was inspired by a scene in a novel I'm reading right now and really enjoying. I didn't want to waste a good idea, so now I'm sharing this with you. Try it if you have the materials. Best wishes, Alice. All right, Alice, let's see what you gave us. Natural garden table. Awesome. I will learn it. Huh? Okay. Sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for a natural garden table. Okay. Where are you, communicator parts? There should be one around here somewhere. Do you guys like it when Gulliver comes to your island? Put some comments in the, the description so I can see exactly what you guys like to do when Gulliver comes out. I know some people just like to ignore him and some people like to do the little tasks. It's always worth it though because you guys get, you get special things for doing tasks for him. So it's always worth it. Am I going to have to go to the other part of the island to do this? You know what? I'm going to do this while I'm looking because I don't want to forget it. Yay! Look! Dug up 1,000 bells. Alright, I think we're kind of poor. Oh, I can do 10,000 bells. Should I? I think I will. There we go. All right, we'll be back to find you in a few days, tree. What did we get? Do you ever notice how these things always seem to be at the bottom? I swear, they're never at the very top. <laughs> okay, pay dirt. I'll bet you didn't think you'd find buried bells here, huh? But this is an island after all. Buried treasure and whatnot. Enjoy some nook miles and from nooking to celebrate your discovery. All right. Oh, 
Okay, do I have more Nook Miles? Let's see. Is it just tricking me? Hey, I guess I didn't claim them. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm going to have to go make some more tools. I should have picked up these sticks. Hey, I'm back everybody. Just stopping by. Don't mind me. Should I craft something using Nook, Tom's Nook Bench? Yes, which I forgot I made my own yesterday so I can start using that one. But we are going to make, I'll make a watering can. Or no, I won't because maybe we'll need that wood. We'll make a shovel. And we will make a fishing rod that will probably break in about five minutes. And do I have any more room? Let's see if I can make a net. No room. We're full. Okay. Let's sell some stuff. After we see Blathers. Because we need to give um, that fish to Blathers. Okay, Blathers, I'm here. I have something for you. Please let me know if you have items to donate or need assistance. I'm here to help. Ho. Make a donation. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Let's give you some fish. Oh, ho, ho. This is undoubtedly a creation carp. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about the Croatian carp? And leave a comment because I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's a carp. Uh, wonderful. I'd love nothing more. I wonder, do you know how to tell the difference between a Croatian carp or in a standard issue carp? It's quite easy to tell the two apart. One must simply locate the barbells, or rather the lack of them. And just what is a barbell, you ask? And I'm probably saying that wrong. Well, a barbell looks a little something like a mustache. A run-of-the-mill carp will spot this unsightly facial hair, uh, while a creation is considerably better groomed. I tried to grow a mustache when I was younger and never did fill in quite right. All for the best in the end, as mustaches go so much or go so much better with noses than with beaks. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. With this, we need 14 donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I'm eager to accept your continued contributions, Ho. Or is it who? Hmm. Alright, let's go sell some stuff. I need to throw some stuff in my tent, maybe, or around the tent, because I need to get my bags empty. It's too small of a bag to be carrying all this stuff. Welcome, coffee girl. Can I help? How can I help you today? I want to sell. Of course. What exactly are you offering? Do fish. Another fish. Oh, I can put that money away. And that'll be it for now. Look at all the fine things you brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. 
and done. I can buy these from you for a total of 320 bells. Sound good? Sure. <laughs> it's not very much, but I guess I'll take it. Thank you. Please come again. Carps are not very profitable fish, are they? Okay. I'm going to go make my island a little messy because I'm going to drop some things by my tent. So don't judge. I just don't have any room in my bag. We're going to drop them. Let's see. We'll put them right here. Okay, we'll put some wood, iron, snowflake. I hope I don't lose it. There we go. The clay. We'll put this away. We'll drop this. This. And this. Whoop. And that's that's what it looks like, people. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going clicking crazy. Drop item. Drop item. And drop item. Ooh, did you see what was behind me here? Now that I know how to make snowmen, I'm gonna go snowman crazy. Okay. How many days do they usually last, those snowmen? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Oh, and there's the other part, because he is melting. Poor Fred. I'll miss him when he's gone. Okay, there's one. I like the rolling part. It's so much easier than kicking it. Do you guys name your snow your snowmen? Let me know in the comments so that I can see some funny names you might name yours. But um, Fred and Ethel over there, I guess eventually they'll melt. So if I keep naming all my snowmen, I'll probably have like a million names for them. There we go. Almost so, so close. Giving 90% to a project is one way to go, sure. But that extra effort takes you to the pro snow circuit. And I really want to see you on the pro snow circuit. Oh, sorry. I should be thanking you for making me. So thank you for making me. Hmm. You guys probably saw that present floating behind me, but I don't have... I don't have a slingshot. I never made one yet. Oh, there's a fish. Okay, fishy, make this easy for me. Just look at it. Just turn. You can look at it. Come on, fishy. Oh, there you go. Oh, I thought I lost him there. I was so slow at pushing that button. Okay, so yes, we caught a regular carp. If I catch another, they can carpool. <laughs> Too silly. Okay, so we're super close to the town. Let's just take it in and give it to Blathers. Here you go. Please let me know if you have items to donate or need assistance. I am here to help. Who? Make a donation? Marvelous. What would you like to donate? I'm going to donate a regular carp this time. Hoo-hoo. Why? This is a carp. Now, might I interest you in a fascinating fact? A few fascinating facts about your carp? Sure. Sure. 
Please tell me. Wonderful. I would love nothing more. Oh, the carp. Have you ever seen their teeth? For your sake, I hope you have not. Carp have teeth in their throat strong enough to crunch on hard things like shells and fingers. A good rule of thumb when dealing with other species is to keep your fingers out of their mouths. Agreed. Although having neither thumbs nor fingers, I am quite safe from this little fellow. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. With this, we need 13 donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I'm eager to accept your continued contributions. Who? All right, Blathers. Let's see here. And off exploring we go. I never looked at my mail. Let's see who sent us mail. Nick shopping. Oh, that's right. I bought a KK record yesterday. I'm going to drop it right on the ground here because I have nowhere to put it. At least tomorrow we'll have a house. So we'll be able to... Oh, let's... Let's turn it so at least you guys can see it. Okay. So tomorrow we'll have a house and we can put stuff in the house. And I can officially make a net. Oops. Wrong button. Should I craft something? Let's craft. I made a flimsy net. I am done crafting. Here we go. Yay, number two. Okay, now we just need three more. Anybody see any? Rocket, are you gonna try and steal my stuff? up room where are you headed hey how'd you sleep last night this island's so quiet at night it's almost weird room I mean don't get me wrong I slept like a log but I wouldn't mind some more action around here I agree but I would rather sleep on a bed than a cot I think these scaredy fish are just afraid of my huge bulgy muscles. Grar. Ugh, I can't catch anything. Okay, one more time. Yo, coffee girl. That spot you found for me is just incredible. Thanks. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies. Grar. Oh, right. I've got something here for you, Rar. Thanks again for finding a place for, for my place. That plain cap is perfect for the cafe. You can try it on by pressing X to open up your pockets. Then press A to select the item you want. Choose where if you want to put it on. You can always change later if you need to work out. Rar. Thanks, Tybalt. Okay, let's see if we can catch this fish over here. Did you just see thunder in the background? Is there going to be like a really big snowstorm? 
does the snow get heavier? I haven't seen it. This is the most I've seen it snow. Oh, oh, that wasn't good. Let's see. Okay, be a new fish, be a new, oh, a tire. That's not good. This old tire could be repurposed. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. All right. Let's do some pole vaulting. Check out the other side of the island that we haven't seen yet. Okay. Is there a fish? No fish. Do you see what I see? Let's see what this is. Look, I dug a fossil. Cool. And we'll get some nook miles for digging up a fossil. Okay. There's too many shells. I'm afraid if I pick them all up that it's going to fill up my inventory. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to have to get them another time. But I do see a fish. All right. I almost hit the button right there. Okay, be a good one. Don't, I bet you sea bass, yep. I caught a sea bass. No wait, it's at least a C plus. That's gonna be a new fish. I can tell by the shadow, I think, I hope. Okay, come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. You can do it. All right. Oh, a squid. I caught a squid. Do they not actually bloop? Let's see if we can catch this dragonfly that was just behind me, if it's still there. Is it gone? Oh. Well... We can dig up another fossil. That's always good, especially on a new island. It's so nice when you're at a new island and you dig up all this stuff and it's all new and it's like, cool, it's new. I haven't had it before. Let's see what Nook Miles we got. Oh my gosh, it's at the top. Was I not just saying that they're always at the bottom and never at the top? That's so funny. Learning how to fish is an essential skill for living on a remote island, hmm? Nook Inc. encourages all island residents who are aiming to become fishing masters. Okay, 300. Our Nook miles are starting to add up quick, huh? Okay. What is that? Oh, coral, okay. Try that again. Okay. Oh, and it's, I got a manila clam. Manila is my favorite uh, flavor of clam. This manila, manila clam can be used as fishing bait. I got an idea for a DIY recipe. Okay, come on fish, come and get it. It's food. Got him. Oh, another sea bass. 
Come on, we want a different fish. Give us something new. Whoop, oh, I saw a fish. Do you guys like this part of the game where you get to go and do all these little tasks to get new um, stuff on the island from Blathers and Tom Nook and all that? Comment below and let me know what you like. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, fishy. Here we go. Oh, I was too quick. Dang it, I bet that was a new fish too. Oop. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, another Manila clam. <laughs> I can do it. Oh my gosh, don't laugh at me. Okay, there we go. Here we go. So I'm kind of feeling that there's not going to be any of the communicator parts on this side of the island. So maybe we have to go back over to the other side again. And we'll catch this fish here and hopefully it won't be a carp. And I kind of messed that one up too. So it was probably a carp anyway. We didn't really want it except for, for the money. All right, let's try and find some communicator parts. Ooh, two of them right here. Look what I dug up, a communicator part. Okay, it was right behind me. I saw it right around here. There we go. Oh, and it wasn't a communicator part. It was a clam. Okay. There should be more around here somewhere. There we go. We got another communicator part. And that's not another one. That's just me going crazy. Okay, so we need one more. Should I try to catch this fish? I don't have room in my inventory, but he looks like a really big fish. He's probably a sea bass. Let's see. Oh, he liked that right away, huh? Gotcha. I'll bet you it's a sea bass. Yup. Okay, well at least I can drop a seashell. Okay, we will drop, we'll drop this one. We'll be back for you. Nope, oh, be a new fish. Gotcha. What is it? Is it? I caught an anchovy. Stay away from my pizza. But I can't carry anything else. Should I swap it for something? Yes, we will. I should have thrown away that tire, but then I feel like I'm littering. Oh no, it's the end of the line for my trusty flimsy fishing rod. Okay. 
So we just need one more communicator part. We must find it. Have you seen my communicator part, Gulliver? Okay. <gasps> there it be. There it be. Okay. Our last and final communicator part. Let's take it over to Gulliver so that he can get back to his ship. Here you go, Gulliver. Hey, did you find him? Got him right here. Oh, that's them. They are definitely my communicator parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. Ta-da! All right, the pieces are crammed back in here. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Ahoy there, crew. It's me, your brooder. From, an from another mud rudder? <laughs> so listen, it happened again. Can you swing by to pick me up? Sending my coordinates now. Gulliver over and out. There, that should do it. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm going to send you something that will knock your flippers off. I have flippers? Just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? Ah, I've... I'm saved. Nothing to do now but pace back and forth for the next few hours. Better get started. All right, Gulliver, it's been real. Okay. What did we get? When you come across someone in trouble on the beach, you help them. Setting a fine example for all the island residents. Such kindness will surely find its way back to you. Cool. All right. Okay. So we got a few things done today. And I thought we'd get more. I wanted to, you know, try and get everything for Blathers. But that's a lot of work to do in a short period of time. So we'll have to continue on with this tomorrow. But it's been so much fun playing with you guys. And... I appreciate all the likes and subscriptions that you'd like to give and any comments that you may have for me, just let me know in the comment field. But otherwise, um, thank you so much for watching and on to another adventure.